Hinamata disease was first discovered in the 1950 in Japan in a city called Minamata City, where a lot of people consumed fish that was contaminated. The fish that they ate, they were not aware that it contained methyl mercury, which, is resu which resulted in them getting sick and being disabled. Some of the people are still survivors. Up to date, they have survived Minamata disease, although it has been difficult for them. The methyl mercury bioaccumulated in fish and shellfish in the Minamata Bay, which when ingested by the local population, resulted in the mercury poisoning. Minamata has a number of symptoms. Some of them are numbness in the hands and feet. Um, damage, it also damages speech, sight and vision and it also uh, affects, uh, it affects the muscles, they become weak. In extreme case, insanity, paralysis, coma and death follow within week of onset of the symptoms. A congenital form of the disease can also affect fetus inside a worm. As a consequence of this mercury poisoning, there were babies born with different disorders. By, 2000 and, by March 2001, more than 10,000 people had been diagnosed with Minamata disease, of whom 1,784 have already died. I think uh, uh, Minamata disease affected people are very suffering from the disability like neurological problems in the community. I think the focus by the government to identify and the f uh, provide the free uh, treatment to the people in hospital and the at first focus in the community level to awareness program about the water pollution and the governments uh, think on uh, governments to collaborate with the another organization like the community label organization ingo to uh, reduce the water pollution activities in the community level and the especially uh, provide the transportation cost and free cost to the disability by the Minamata disease in the community. Minamata is not just warning for one country, one nation, it's for the global. And uh, it's global health. We have to think about the health aspect in every policies we made. And government, when they decide about the policy, they have to um, uh, make reference uh, on the health aspect. It should be the public health policies. Although the Minamata incidents happened nearly 60 years ago, the incidents has social economic effect as well as health effect on the up on the local population. Those who were born with the congenital defect due to the Minamata disease, they are still burning the pain of the disease. Uh, therefore, uh, the government, the Japanese government, as well as government, should around the world, they should review their policy, process, and practices of the environmental uh, control concerning with the pollution control. Because nowadays we have so many pollution problems around the world and therefore we need to have more good and more strict policy and process concerning with the pollution control. When I heard about Minamata incidents in Japan, I feel shocked and sad for the people who are living in that area and, and also feel sympathy and empathy uh, for those who survived the uh, who survived the incident, who survived the incidents, they are brave. As my previous presenters have shown you, that this disease has caused so much damage in the Japanese community, 
let us think about them and continue to contribute. Thank you. This is Thomas Sachs University, Global Health, Pocket of Public Health, Thailand. Thank you. Thank you.